Lamy is coming out with their 2023 special edition safaris, uh, which is a group of three called the D lights. And they have three different colors. They have spring green, aqua sky, and light rose. So I'm gonna talk about those today, compare them to the ones that they look sort of similar to and give you some ink recommendations. You know, if you've been following Lamy for a little bit, if you're thinking these three kind of look familiar, well, it's because they kind of do. They actually came out with the pastel collection of three pens, which was also a green, blue, and pink. This was in 2019, and uh, they do look fairly similar, but they are different, so I'm gonna show you those. So what they did for these ones, they did all matchy-matchy. So the trim, the clip, and everything all matches the color of the pen. The only thing that's different is the nib, which is that stainless steel color. Um, I've got some other videos and stuff that you can learn more about the Safari if you want to, but here mainly I'm just gonna focus on the colors. So let's take this one pen at a time. I'm gonna start off first with the spring green. So the one that I wanna compare it to the most is the mint green. This was the pastel special edition from 2019. The mint green, definitely a little lighter in color, doesn't have as much yellow to it. Uh, and it's got the silver you know, trim on it. So. Uh, you can see the difference between those two. I think the spring green, um, I mean, the color kind of makes sense to me. That spring, I think of like a more yellowy kind of green, making sense, you know, kind of for a spring color, I guess. And then the other one that I thought might be helpful to compare it to is just the plain old white Safari. This is just the regular edition, nothing crazy going on, but I thought maybe this would give some perspective on a like color spectrum. And then to really show you what green can do to your eyes, <laughs> this is the charge green. I don't remember this area. No, sorry, apple green. Charge green was the all-star. This is the apple green. Now that's some green right there. So you can see here, you got much more yellow, much more lighter, more subdued, more not quite as subdued in pastel as the mint green was. So there's a spectrum here. You can see more of that yellow kind of pop in when you compare all three, but you know, it's cool. It looks good. Now let's talk about inks. I'm going to be straight up and honest with you. I was riding the struggle bus comparing all of the ink colors across these different pens, especially this green one. So I'll make some recommendations, but I do not feel great about them. So it's okay if you want to blast me in the comments or if you have some other recommendations of better ones. Uh, I'm doing my best here. But first one I've got, nothing Lamy. Lamy didn't have anything really that close that I could even say matches this color. And that's okay. But I got a Pilot, Pilot Roshizuku. This is Chiku Rin. You know, it's a little little brighter, a little more, you know, intense of a color than what really matches this pen, but it's in the ballpark. Uh, Sailor Ink Studio 167. It's a bit more green, but it's a little lighter in color. So I actually feel pretty, pretty solid recommending this one. And it is a, it is a pretty pleasant color. Um, and then Twisby Prairie Green. This is a nice green. It's a little bit more intense. All the most of the greens I had were like more like prairie meadow, you know, whatever. They really look like grass colored and that's it's not quite a dead ringer for this pen, but that's okay. Uh, Robert Oster Citrus. This is a really much more intense green. I'm getting less and less confident with my green choices as we go here, um, but it is a nice color. And then Diamine Meadow, kind of the same deal, uh, similar to Robert Oster Citrus. So all nice greens, but you know, maybe if you water them down, <laughs> They would look a little closer, but uh, it's the best I got. Next color we have is Aquasky. I'm sorry, Aqua Sky. <laughs> Every time I look at the way the Lummi spells, I think of Aquasky. I can't help it, but um, Aqua Sky. Very nice blue color, I got to be honest with you. Uh, I'll show it next to the Blue Macaron, which was the 2019 special edition. So I can definitely see the difference here. The Blue Macaron, much lighter in color. Um, the Aqua Sky, really, to me, actually... I don't know why, it looks more pastel to me, even though it's a darker color. I don't know, that's just what I think of more when I think of like a pastel, kind of a blue color, uh, even though it's not part of the pastel collection. So I don't know, take that for what you will. Um, very pleasant color, not quite as much green in this one as in the macaron, but uh, you know, very nice. Both very nice colors, very fine, but um, that's the aqua sky. All right, and then the other one that I think will give it, you know, a nice, nice little comparison here. This is the aquamarine safari, uh, much darker in color. So I think the, Aqua Sky, nice little, nice little mid spectrum here between the other two. And then just because I already have it pulled out because I showed it in the last pen, I'll show it next to white so you can get somewhat of a, it's a really pleasant looking palette right there, I gotta say. <laughs> These all look really good next to each other. Uh, maybe it's just because I like blues, but anyway. Uh, Aqua Sky, next to all these others, looks good. All right, so uh, ink choices for this one. 
kind of similar to the green. Don't feel great about them. Honestly, it's because when you get really, really light blues like this, you can't freaking read it on the page. But, you know, the, and so they don't make a lot of inks that are quite this light. Uh, but whatever, I have some choices and, you know, I've already explained all this, but uh, Lummy Blue. So this is, I mean, this is the color that the cartridge that, you know, comes with the pen. This is the Lummy Blue that we're talking about here. It's not a dead ringer, but it's close enough. And you're already going to have the cartridge if you pick up this pen. So pop it in and see if you like it. Uh, maybe it'll work for you. Little lighter blue color. We got Ferris Wheel Press Dust Ink Bloom. It's a very lighter, more subdued blue. I think this one probably matches a little closer than the Lamy one. So I feel this is probably my, my top choice. I think it looks pretty good. And then the last one I have, this one's a bit of a stretch. This is Sailor Manyo Haha. It's a great color. One of our most popular ink colors. It's kind of more on the gray spectrum and it's got maybe a bit more green than blue, but this is one of those chromo shading inks that has a lot of different colors to its spectrum. And I don't know, maybe this blue is in there somewhere, but it is a really cool ink color. And if you wanted something lighter, you know, it's, it, looks, it looks pretty good, especially if you have this in like a broader nib. Uh, I think it could look really good. And the next color we have is the light rose. Nice pink color, the one that I have to compare it to. This is the Powder Rose, which was from the Pastel Collection of 2019. That definitely was more of a peach color. This is more of a true pink. Uh, so I think that that looks more pink. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say at this point. I've said so many colors and names, but that's what you get. And then I really didn't have a lot else to compare it to because most of the other pinks that Lamy's done has been like punch you in the eyes, bright pink. Uh, but anyway, I have the white again to give you a, a spectrum of where it is. Kind of a nice looking, nice looking group there. But um, this makes the, uh, the light rose look definitively pink. And I just found one more pink to add in here. Uh, this kind of completes our little pink rainbow. This is the Safari pink. Uh, much, much darker in color. So you can see what it looks like when you turn it up to 11 on the pink scale. Uh, but, uh, you know, light rose in there. Definitely looking a little more pastel next to that pink. All right, let's talk about ink for our light rose. I think I got some okay ones. Again, lighter pink colors. There are some, and there's like a fan base of people who like lighter pinks. Um, you get some good shading with some of these, um, but uh, it's definitely easy to go a little too magenta on some of these. So I tried to walk that line, but uh, you can let me know how I did. So first one I've got, I found nothing Lamy that was really close. Everything was like way too magenta or too violet, but go figure. Uh, Urban Bouquet d'Antin. Very nice color. This is a very, very pleasing pink color. I think this is probably my number one choice as a match for this pen. Uh, Pilot Eroshizuku Hana Ikada. This is a newer Pilot Eroshizuku color. Uh, maybe a little, a little more vibrant on the pink, but uh, I think it's still pretty darn close. And Sailor Shikiori Sakura Mori. This is a little bit darker, a little more, you know, saturated color than the other two, but I still think it would look uh, like a pretty good match. But there we have it. Now, I don't know when we're going to be actually like selling these. I got these as samples in advance and I'm shooting this video well before they're actually going to be released. So they're either yet to be available or we already have them. I don't know. But either way, go check out on gouletpens.com. These are going to be priced the same as all the other safaris, which we have for $37 MSRP in the US and uh, $29.60 is going to be our sale price at Goulet Pens. If you want to be able to use bottled ink with it, you're going to need to get a Z28 converter, which is an extra $6. Sorry, it doesn't come with it, but you know, I think it's definitely worth adding that onto there. If it's ahead of the launch and we don't have them for sale yet, then it'll say coming soon, whatever. It'll say coming, coming in a certain time instead of out of stock. Uh, but you can put your email address in and be notified as soon as we get it in. The way that they do these Safari special editions is they come out with them. They don't really tell us how many or how long it's gonna be available, but we know from past ones they've done, you know, it could range anywhere from nine months to a year, maybe a little bit longer, depending on how many they make and how long it takes to sell and all that kind of stuff. So um, I found that when they do them in groups like this, they can often hang around for a little bit longer. I don't know. When they come out in a group like this, do you feel like you need to get all of them to keep the collection or do you just get the one that's the color you like? I'm kind of curious for you all. I'm, at this point, I've become a de facto collector and I kind of just pretty much have to pick up everything they do. <laughs> I know not everybody feels that way, but... I can't really help myself. So that's my situation. But I mean, obviously for me, the blue one out of the group is my favorite, but uh, I think they all look pretty pleasant and I'm glad to see them do this. They haven't done a whole lot of kind of pastel colors. And uh, you know, I think it's uh, it's an interesting 
uh, mix up, especially when you compare it to the um, All Stars that they have coming out this year too. This is a very different vibe, and uh, you know. It's got to be a challenge for Lamy coming up with all these pens, all these different colors, and how can the world can you come out with something new when you've done so many things? Um, so good job, Lamy. I think you did a pretty pretty good one this year. Uh, and uh, I would love to hear what you all think. So leave us some comments. Go check them out on JuliaPens.com. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And right on.